What's going on out there, YouTube? Uh, it's your boy LC, man. I'm about to do a tutorial on um, sampling and Fruity Loops. Um, a lot of people like to sample with their NPCs and their records and, you know, all that good stuff. But, you know, everybody ain't got money like that. And I also believe it ain't about all the extra equipment you got. It's about you and what you're capable of doing, you know. So I'm about to go to, um, I got an old school folder with a few old school things. And I'm going to go to the 70s and try to find something to sample. You can sample anything, man. Like anything that's got a beat, anything. It can be country, rock and roll, R&B, whatever. I'm about to click something. Let's see. I might sample that. Uh, don't take your love from me. Uh, you drag and drop it directly to this um, Edison button up here, which is the scissors. And um, you click anywhere and, you know, click and slide. And it'll do this. And what you, what you want is the red. The red is highlighting the sample that you want, basically. So... I'm about to find some type of sample or loop. And then there's another way you could do this where if you want to you wanna completely just flip the sample and chop it in different pieces, I'll show you that, that way on another tutorial. Um, I'm going to also be doing tutorials. This is my first tutorial, by the way. I'm going to be doing tutorials on how to mix vocals and Fruity Loops. Because for some reason, people think it can't be done. And, you know, I, I I could make vocals sound just as good as the next DAW. So what we're about to do is find a loop here. Let me see. You see how I keep moving? See how I keep moving like that? I'm going to just um, click this button right here. It's called auto scrolling. And that's to disable it from moving when you're trying to um, zoom in and chop your samples precisely. So, um. Sorry if I'm saying um a lot. I'm just thinking about what I'm going to say next. You know what I'm saying? So, let's see. Let's see how that sounds. All right. That sounds like a good loop to me. So, what I'm going to do is drag and drop it directly into the playlist. And um, how you do that is you click this button right here, drag and drop it straight over here. So now what I want to do is um, lower the tempo. With with hip hop, you can do tempos from 70 to 90. You know what I'm saying? 70 to 96 at least. I've seen people do beats from uh, 60. 62, 64, 60, and that's not, that's really with trap beats and stuff like that, you know, or a twister beat where you're going to rap super fast as hell, so the beat going slow as hell, but I've seen people do beats at 142, and that's cool, but that's just when you want to, when you want to get more in there, and I'll explain that too on another tutorial, but I'm going to do mine at 84, and um, after I do that, and how you change the tempo is just Click in here and drag up and down. That's it. And um, I'm gonna take this off resample because when it's on resample and you chopping more than one um, chopping more than one loop, if you don't chop them exactly the same, it's gonna change the pitch. On um, on each sample gonna have a different pitch. So I got mine on tonal. I put it on tonal. And we're going to change this time knob until it locks 
into a good spot up here. Usually two bars or four bars or six bars. Always an even number, usually. So let me see. I'm going to try to lock it right here and see how that sounds. And you can change the pitch right here with this button. It's uh, the pitch knob if you want the chipmunk voice or whatever. You know, so we're going to put that on zero. Let's see how that sound though. All right, that's that's kind of slow, so I'm gonna take it down to here and see how it sounds. All right, that's cool. Um, I'm gonna just put four of them there. Now let me get some drums. Turn that down a little bit. And I'm not saying that I would actually sample this, what I'm sampling. I'm just doing this for the tutorial to let y'all see how, you know, let y'all get the hang of how to do it in Fruity Loops. Okay, that's a cool kick. Um, let's find a snare. That's cool. Uh, Hi-hat. That's your basic snare, hi-hat, and uh, kick. You can, you can, um... You can add a lot more stuff to it. You know, they got different types of hi-hat cymbals, conga drums, bungos, triangles, all that good stuff. But I'm going to just, for this tutorial, do this. Um, let's see. Now, this is the pattern mode and the song mode. The song mode will play, once you hit play in song mode, it'll play anything that's over here in this area. Once you're in pattern mode, it'll play everything that's here. So I'm in pattern mode right now, and I'm about to try to make a little quick drum loop. And I want y'all to know I am not a beat maker. You know, but it just comes to every point in every rapper's life where they got to learn how to make some type of beat. You know, you got to. You just got to. If you don't know how to make a beat and you're a rapper, then you don't love the hip-hop game. Like, you know, for real. That's all I can say. So, all right, here we go. Alright, simple little pattern right there. And that's pattern one, right? You could change patterns by clicking this right here, scrolling up and down. And you see that moving down there? This is all your patterns. So this one will be my drum loop. Pattern one gonna be my drum loop. You can rename it if you want to, but I'm not gonna do it for this tutorial. It's gonna be my drum loop. So I'm going to put it down here, and let's see how it sounds. Alright, it's not bad. Um, If you want to change up the drum pattern, you can click on pattern 1 right here. Just click, make sure you clicked on it, it's highlighted. Hit Control Shift C, and that's gonna copy Pattern One to Pattern Two. And you know, once you're in Pattern Two, you can what add another snare, take out a kick, add some hi hats at the end. And this is just a one-bar drum loop. I usually do eight, but I'm just doing one for this tutorial. And you know, change that up a little bit. And now. It's going to sound a little different. All right. You know, that's just, that's the basics of sampling and Fruity Loop. You know, that's one way you could do it. I'm going to show y'all another way where you could just chop the sample up all crazy. And, you know, you could chop the sample right here if you want to. Like, what you already got in here, just click on this magnet and make sure it's on line or one-fourth. 
Because if you got it on none, then your chops just going to be all crazy and they're going to be all over everywhere. They're going to sound right. So I got it on line and I could chop, get, go to the slicer tool right here and I could chop this and I can move that out the way. And uh, Let me see. Move this out the way to use that for later. And uh, just hold shift. And click on this and slide it down and it'll just duplicate that one and you know you know if you could really tell the difference because this is a a loop that just dun 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 but if it was something else I'd be able to show y'all the difference how it sounds let me let me try to find another loop so I could let you see how that would sound if you did that all right i'm gonna use that one and uh, i'm gonna drag and drop it once again like this and now i'm gonna stretch it again put it on tonal stretch it Let's see how that sound. Um, turn it down a little bit. All right. Now, what I was saying was you could chop it. So I'm going to slice it. I'm going to move this one down. And then I'm going to duplicate this one. And see how that sounds. All right, see how, how it changed it up right there. So, you know, that's one way you can sample in Fruity Loops. Like I said, I'm going to show y'all the other way. And uh, if you got any questions, just let me know. Hit me up. I'm going to be doing a lot of tutorials on a lot of different stuff, not just Fruity Loops. But I know a lot of people into this music thing so i'm gonna show y'all how y'all can do y'all vocals as well in fruity loops and have them sounding real good so all right man comment rate subscribe hit me in my inbox any questions anything